Tonight, Pueblo City Council passing an emergency resolution to help local businesses. Members approving the transfer of $5 million out of PEDCO funds to a COVID-19 emergency fund. News Katie Katie Blaze breaking down what businesses need to know. Well, I'm told PEDCO funds are normally used for job creation and economic development. So in order to transfer those millions in tax money, City Council had to amend the criteria ordinance. Mayor Gratizar says this is all legal and that City Council does have the ability to make these changes, paving the way for struggling businesses to get support. It's too soon to tell just how much the coronavirus has impacted Pueblo's economy, but... We know it's going to be big and we're going to have to be prepared to deal with it. Our retail stores and our restaurants and bars are closed, so they're not bringing in any money whatsoever, uh, or very little money. It's why the city has decided to repurpose some of the money in the half-cent sales tax fund, $5 million to be exact. That would be made available to local businesses who apply for aid, 20000 could be in the form of a grant, up to $100,000 in the form of a loan. The mayor says any business within the city of Pueblo can apply. They'd be able to use these funds for things such as rent or inventory. Something people like Deb De Niro, owner of Tailored West Pueblo, might need in the coming months. I think I'm going to be okay to get to May, but if this goes into June, it's going to get a little scary. Being a non-essential business, she's had to temporarily close her doors. It would definitely help out with rent, pay for my employees, pay for my utilities. And city council members agree, the resolution getting unanimous support. One of the most important things that this money would do is to prop up a business that could also make a, a commitment of keeping their employees or rehiring their employees that they've laid off. It's important for us to try to put them in a position and try to help them when we're ready to lift the stay-at-home order and they're ready to open up again, we can get them up and running as quickly as possible. Now, it's unclear right now exactly when businesses will start getting this money. The application still needs to be posted to the city website, and Mayor Gratizar says that could happen by tomorrow afternoon. A three-person committee will be reviewing applications to decide who gets a grant or a loan. Always watching out for you, Pueblo. Katie Blaze, News 5.